Hey guys, my name is Scoby and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to cancel your Crunchyroll membership on your mobile device. This is going to be a nice, quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. Let's jump right into this. So sadly, I don't think it's possible, or at least I have not found any way to cancel your Crunchyroll membership from your actual application. If we come inside our account profile by coming to the bottom right, and we click on our membership plan, it will simply mention your membership here. Sadly, it does not seem like there's any way to actually cancel your membership from this. So instead, what we're going to be doing is opening up a web browser. For today's video, I'm going to be doing this in Google Chrome, but feel free to do it in any web browser you would like. I'll also be leaving this link in the description down below. When you first come to the Crunchyroll website on your mobile device, you may get this screen right here. Instead, what we're going to be doing is looking for the button at the very bottom called the View Full Site. We simply need to click this, and this should open up the full site for our Crunchyroll. Now, don't worry if the content doesn't display correctly here. What we're also going to be doing is enabling desktop mode in our browser. So as mentioned, I'm using Google Chrome, so it might differ slightly if you're using a different browser. To this, we're going to be clicking the three dots menu on the top right of our Chrome. And we're going to be clicking on desktop sites. And this is basically going to force Crunchyroll to load on the desktop version of the website as if we were on an actual desktop. From this point, what we're going to be doing is zooming in. We're going to be scrolling up to the top right and we're going to be clicking on the login option right here. And you're simply going to have to log into your already existing Crunchyroll account. Now at the moment, I am currently on the beta version of the web page. Although depending on when you're watching this, this may already be the normal version. So that's something to keep in mind. From this point, again, we're gonna be zooming in. We're gonna be coming up to the top right. We're gonna be clicking on our profile option right here. And we're gonna be coming to the My Account section. Once this opens up, we're gonna be coming over to the left. We're gonna be zooming in and we're gonna be looking for the membership plan option right here. And here's where we should be brought to the premium membership status page. Now, again, you can actually log in and go to this page directly. I'll also be leaving this link in the description down below. And here's where we should see all the different information in related to the billing about our account. So what I'm going to be doing is zooming in here. And here's where we should see all the different information about our membership. We can see our current membership type. We can see our billing amount, the billing cycle, and the next billing date. And below this, we can see our current and future memberships. And here we can see that our current status is active. And we can see we have a cancel option right here, which is underneath the action section. So what we need to do is simply click the cancel membership option right here. And then we'll be brought down the flow to actually cancel our Crunchyroll membership. So the first thing we'll be brought to is this page where they'll mention everything that we lose. We're simply going to be scrolling down here to the very bottom. And we're going to again look for the cancel membership option right here. Simply click this. And then finally, we will have the premium cancellation survey where you'll simply have to fill out anything you want here. And then finally, we're going to be canceling our account. Once you've entered everything, we're going to be coming down to the very bottom. And we're simply going to be clicking submit. And then finally, we're going to be brought back to our membership page. Here, our status should be changed to cancelled and our action should be changed to automatically renew membership. So if you would like to reactivate your membership, you can really easily do it here. Otherwise, from this point, your account has been cancelled. You will no longer get billing updates, although you will still have access to your account until the membership end date, which for me is the 6th of April. And just like that, you can cancel your Crunchyroll membership on your and just like that, you can cancel your Crunchyroll membership on your mobile device. Anyway, guys, I want to take this moment to give a huge shout out to the channel members, Sean Daly, Joshua Davis, and Devante Hunt. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. If you'd like to have your name shout out in future videos or some other perks, be sure to click the join button or the add video on the channel. It would really help me out. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.